Well, the play focuses on a Palestinian family, and the main character is Fadwa Faranish, and she's in her 30s, and she's single, and she's the sort of cook of the house. And we're also dealing with a father who is able, and he is the patriarch of the family, the olive tree farmer, and Fadwa has been taken on the role of taking care of him there in Bethlehem in a town called Beit Jala in the occupied territories in the West Bank. In order to sort of escape the pressures of her domestic life, she turns to her cooking show. And I think food is also, it truly is the entry point to the story. The history of Palestine, the history of Israel is so long and food is so ingrained in the culture. It's a very easy place to communicate with people on. It's a thread, you know, and I think we thought, well, this is a great way in to talk about things that are more painful, whether they're more political or whether they're more personal. You know, I, I don't think there's any way you can come out of our play and not feeling like we're not broaching a lot of the subjects that come up when you talk about the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. We're not overt in the sense that we're talking so specifically about that, but we have characters that come from that situation mm -hmm. and are dealing with that situation exactly. in how they live every day and in, in why they've decided to, to leave their, their products of, of, the of the environment. Exactly. I think the play is for everybody. Yeah, it's in the Palestinian territories, but they're a family like anybody. They have, they have all the, the issues that we all, we all have. It's a very human story. What Jake and I have been trying to do is to create something that's universal, that there are universal themes where we can relate to people who are in love or people who are dealing with sick parents or people who are dealing with leaving their home or people who are dealing with going to start a new life in another country. Um, these are themes that we all recognize. And certainly food. You explore things through food, through meals, through sharing, and it's such a big part of our culture. I'd like to see Food and Fadwa play anywhere where we can challenge perceptions and uh, help people embrace a new perception of Arabs, Arab Americans, Palestinians, and I think that we want it to be part of the conversation about the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. And if it starts a conversation, I think that that's, that's worthwhile.